People much beloved by God, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets of old. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. The author of Hebrews wrote these words, and although we don't know who he is, he may have written the greatest synthesis of the gospel. See, although God spoke in many and various ways to the people of old, he has done something incredible in speaking to us by his Son. We've spoken for the last year about how God worked through many different people in many different ways, beginning with the promise that he made to Adam and to Eve in the garden as they left. We've spoken about how Abraham and Noah and Moses and David all received the promise renewed. We've spoken about how history seemed to bend at the will of God. The Sunday school heard me go on for probably half an hour about how Caesar Augustus was not just some random person that was mentioned in the Bible, but the emperor of the greatest empire that ever lived. It's surprising to think that God would work through many different ways to bring his word to his people, mostly because we're used to receiving it in a very simple way, through his son, Jesus Christ. God did everything he did in the Old Testament to bring about his Christ, to bring forward the name which would be above all names, the one who came from the right hand of God, who knew his majesty, the only one who knew his majesty, came to make it known. Jesus, the Christ, the Son of God, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, did all of this for you for the forgiveness of sin. It's not enough to say that what Christ has done is the most important gift ever given. It's not enough to say that this is an improvement on the old system of many and various ways. All we can say now is that at last, God has spoken to us and he has done it through his son. Amen. Hello, I'm Vicar Aaron Dawson. And I hope that you heard comfort, forgiveness, and the promises of Christ in this sermon. For more sermon videos like this, information about our church, and promises of Christ, you can visit us at sjlcmetro.com. That's sjlcmetro dot com. Thank you, and God bless you and keep you in his grace.